I'm Jamie, and in this video, I'll show you how the Edge Router can load balance between two upstream ISPs using policy-based routing. This particular topology is common in the ISP world, where multi-homing allows customers and ISPs to have more than one upstream ISP. I'll reference this topology throughout the video. For now, let's take a look at the few configurations I've already made to my Edge Router. My ETH0 interface acts as my LAN, while my ETH1 and ETH2 interfaces are configured for my WAN ISPs 192.0.1.2 and 2.2 respectively. The upstream ISP router is presumed to have a next hop address of .1 in each WAN subnet. I have basic source NAT masquerade rules in place for the outbound interfaces ETH1 and ETH2. Although I don't have DNS forwarding or a DHCP server active, you may want to configure these on your LAN interface so users can automatically get on the internet. Toward the end of this tutorial, we'll show that approximately half of packets destined to the WAN are routed through ISP1, while the remaining half are routed through ISP2. Type configure to enter configuration mode. Typing clear will clean up the screen as we go through different sections of this tutorial. Type edit protocols static to begin editing the static route configuration section. Set default gateways by creating routes to the network 0.0.0.0/0 with each upstream ISP router as the next hop address. Here, it's 192.0.1.1 and 2.1, respectively. Next, create two separate routing tables and markings associated with each table. In this way, the router will reference routing table 1 for all packets marked 1, and table 2 for all packets marked 2. Then, create default gateways pointing to each upstream ISP router inside each routing table. Before continuing, type exit to leave the static protocols section of the configuration. Type edit firewall modify balance to create a rule set named balance with rules that modify the packets. Stateful firewall rules allow the edge router to keep track of all network connections, which means that both connections and packets can be marked and load balanced accordingly. Rule 10 restores marks from existing connections to packets. Rule 20 accepts packets that are already marked. Rule 30 assigns a mark of 1 to packets on a 50% probability basis. Rule 40 assigns a mark of 2 to packets that did not receive the mark of 1 following Rule 30. Rule 50 saves markings from packets to connections. After creating the rules, exit the balance firewall configuration and apply the firewall rule set to packets in the in direction on the ETH0 interface. The rule set will modify packets arriving from the LAN destined to the WAN. Type commit, save, exit for the configuration changes to take effect. After a couple of hours of LAN to WAN traffic passing through my router, we can view statistics that show activity according to our balance rule set for our firewall modify rules. The number of packets matching rules 30 and 40 are nearly identical, indicating that our edge router is successfully load balancing between upstream ISPs. In scenarios where port forwarding is configured, there may be new connections initiated from the WAN side, so you'd need to create new rule sets for each WAN interface to mark packets associated with new connections. Once the new rule sets are configured, apply them to the WAN interfaces. Type commit, save, exit for the configuration changes to take effect. Thanks for watching this video.